John Cairns, who operating at the South Pole starts with the green trunks, trimmed with white and gold. Well, Yafai Barony was guilty of a, a classic case of punches ignorance, overlooked Cunningham in a fight that he believed he would just walk through and get to him at some point and stayed on the line too long, walked into straight left hands, uppercuts, was dropped three times on route two to points defeat and he stayed in the fight by hook or by crook but it took him a number of months to, to watch the fight. So into round number three of eight we go. John Cairns just circling on the outside as we suspected he would do. Yafai just trying to close the gap, right hand, lands to the body. Yeah, just up the tempo slightly from Gamal, and that's what's re required to really start making Cairns feel those legs, slow down the movement. So I've moved an awful lot, so it's down to Gamal now. It's a bit, a bit more aggressive on the front foot, really forced, turns back into the corner on the ropes, and that's where it'll have success, but good left hook over the top. Shot over the top. Try and get it over that left hand of Kearns. Does have openings in his defence. Like I say, chin's very high. Stands upright so you can target the body. This is better from Gamal. Moving his head when he's in front of Kearns. Doesn't need to be a static target. Oh, that's a big left and right over the top. Kearns locks him up. Took the shot well. He never looked massively hurt against Liam Davies, but he was just broken up and, and caught so clean, as he has been doing here by Yafai. The legs have gone, right hand lands, and Kearns is down. That was a big left hook, wasn't it? Really stunned Kearns, doing the right thing, spit his gum shield out. And Getting a bit more time to recover. He was certainly hurt, Chris. And has this little bit of respite, just giving him time to recover and get the legs back. Yafai, though, lasering in on him. Left hook lands, right hand again. Referee having a good look. But Cairns again just locks him up, doing the right thing, but 40 seconds still to go in the round here. Changing the levels with the shots really well. Gamal doesn't know where they're coming from, Kearns. Body shots and following straight upstairs. With the hooks either side. Well, the form book said that if Yafai was back to anything like his best, given the level that he's boxed at, and the level that Cairns too has boxed at, he should walk through him at some point in the first half of the contest in true to form. He is really, really putting the endurance and the durability of Sean Cairns to the test. It just rolls under the hooks as they lock up again. Big round this for Gamal Yafai. Well, up close, it's always going to be Gamal Yafai's fight Darren and well that was the first shot the left hit the buckle of the legs and then the right hand behind it dropped into his knees yeah, it was a lovely shot well timed you see they're certainly stunned Cairns who what well he didn't spit the gate <laughs> didn't spit the gum <laughs> no, no, it was knocked <laughs> spark out of his mouth and it was this yeah right hook there sort of cuffing shot on the side Sean Cairns and well maybe the mouth guard coming out was a blessing in disguise has it given him enough time with the extra minute in between rounds to recover he's going to have to keep on the move here just clips Yafai with a, a right hook on the turn he'll try and frustrate and, and smother and, and spoil when he can but Yafai is kitchen sink time he's decided setting his feet 
Doesn't want to get careless though here, yet, but working the body. Uh, he, wants the, he wants the big finish, doesn't he? Big right hand over the top. The eyes just glaze the cans momentarily, left up behind it. But I took them really well. Credit to Kearns here. He's firing back, but I don't think it's wise tactics. Oh, look for a moment, like his eyes are glazed and he was going to go, but he's held firm. The legs are underneath him. Two minutes in the fourth. Can Yafai capitalise on the breakthrough in the previous round? Stepping into range, stiff right hand to the body, and Cairns couldn't mask his discomfort there. He'll be happy with this, though, Gamal, that Cairns is firing back because you can see looking for that counter left up. Gamal. Every time Kearns throw, he's open because that chin's high. The right hand is low, so the left hook, followed by a big right hand, up uh, two shots for Gamal. Yeah, by stalking, targeting the body now. Rolls under. The lead hook looks for a left of his own. Well, the pop of Sean Kent has gone out, and that's really stung him to the body again. The cumulative effect of these big right hands to the body are really taking their toll. And I just don't think Sean Cairns is going to last here. Left hook upstairs, dumps him in the corner, and it's all over. And Gamal Yafai returns to form with a fourth round knockout. Well, he said he wants to work his way back to European level. And if that is a statement of intent, then it was a big one. And Sean Cairns still on the seat of his trunks in the corner. He was hurt to the body moments before the left hook landed. And then no sooner had he hit the deck, the referee knew it was all over. Well, thankfully, he is up on his feet. He's a brave, brave man indeed. And I think we sensed he would have to be tonight because Gamal Yafai has been champing at the bit to get back in the ring, and you can see why. He'll be over the moon with that, back to winning ways, and he'll try and catapult back up the rankings and fight for titles. But that was a good performance. He'd done exactly what he had to do against an opponent that can be awkward. I've watched Kearns in the past, and can be a bit of a nightmare, but that was a good finish. I did think the left hook would be the shot that would do the undoing and do the damage. Kearns was looking to, to trade with Gamal, and when he does so, he carries the chin high and drops the right hand, and he's a sucker for that left hook. But again, we're seeing that aggression, that spite from Gamal that makes him very exciting to watch. Naturally, he's so aggressive, loves to get stuck in and proving that he was levels above there. and. He'll be so happy to be back to winning ways. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Jones calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 55 seconds of round number four. Your winner by TKO, Jamal, the Beast, yeah, five.